Hey, how's it going? Matt Hedick from Keith McMillan Instruments here, and I'm going to show QNexus, which is our new product, as well as QNEO Rogue, wireless QNEO add-on. Um, QNexus is what we call a smart sensor key controller. If you're familiar with QNEO, you'll know that all our stuff does multi-dimension control. Um, QNexus is a poly aftertouch keyboard. It does poly pressure and poly tilt. So each key can send its own pressure message and its own tilt message. If you look at this sensor view, I've got independent pitch bends for each key. This is something we call channel rotation. Each key that you press uh, comes in on a new channel in the order that they're pressed. So if I press key one, it comes in on channel one and it does pitch bend on that channel. Then the second key I press is channel two and I, so I can get uh, right now up to 10 different pitch bends, which is as many fingers as I have anyway. Um, additionally, you know, you can map it to do things like, I've mapped it to control filter and uh, drive, so pressure is kind of controlling drive, and um, as well as pitch bend. Um, and we've got different modes, like a hold mode, and then I've built an arpeggiator in our software. The nice thing about this is that we've got full LED control from the software, so you can actually do something like lay out your arpeggiation and look at the pattern you've programmed. And um, additionally, QNexus is the nexus for your studio. It's got a gate and a CV output and two additional CV outputs. So you can use it as a standalone CV controller for modular synths or for synths, or as a MIDI to CV interface from your computer or a MIDI device. You have MIDI expander ability, which all of our products work with, which is a box that allows you to use five pin MIDI cables, and also CV input which allows you to send CV signals in from an analog synth or from your modular, turn them into MIDI, modulate them in live or Maximus P or Reactor, whatever you want to do, and send them back out through the CV stuff. Yeah. So does um, it do the full range of CV? Because yes. bus power, so how does it get? Um, Keith, Keith has it, it's full range CV. I don't know how, exactly how he did it, but you know Keith, he's like, he's kind of a genius, so. So can you, um, Regular keyboard too, right? Yes, you can use a regular keyboard. And uh, we've got it, oh yeah, we also have it, it's powerable from the iPad, and you can just use it with iOS devices natively. It's class compliant, so you don't need any drivers. Um, and it works as a regular keyboard, or you can make it into a sequencer, an arpeggiator, make it much more. Uh, All right, when, uh, are we in production yet? What's the there, they'll be about uh, available in April, and the cost is 199 list. 150 Street, so they're pretty inexpensive. So and if you, that's what, that's what a CV converter would cost you. Right? Yeah. Well, there's no, we haven't found a good CV converter with four outputs for less than 300 bucks. And I personally have one that was about 150, has two outputs, has a pitch and a gate output, and it's not very reliable. So um, I'm pretty excited about this, even just as a CV converter in my rig. Uh, and if you know our stuff, it's built just like Cuneo, so. It's uh, sonically welded, it's rubberized, it's beer proof, it won't break if you throw it out a window or something. Um, you know, so it's, you can kind of trust that it's a good, high quality, small controller. Is that same sort of editor format? There's a similar editor, it's a little bit more simple because it, we have less stuff that you need to edit here. But yeah, similar editor. Um, so the Kickstarter thing's really working for you guys? Yeah, it's been good. We did more than, we do doubled our, uh, goal with QNexus, which is awesome. It's been great. Yeah. It's, uh, it's helped us a lot. It helps us to get these things into production, which is something. Well, I mean, it takes some of the risk out of the... Uh, yeah. You know, and being a small company, it's nice to gauge the excitement for our stuff, and it also helps us get this stuff done quicker. We're, we're really small, and QNEO had made us kind of expand, but uh, we're still did, tiny. Did, did I ask you when it was going to be coming out? April, yeah, yeah, and we're we're pretty much ahead of schedule right now. So I would guarantee I would pretty be pretty confident in April being the date. So tell me a little bit about the Rogue while we got on. Yeah. Rogue is an add-on for Cuneo. This is a prototype that gives you a battery pack that's chargeable with a, a mini USB cable and wireless USB MIDI. So. You plug in a little receiver into your computer, you get 60 meters of range off of Rogue, and it goes over eight hours on, on one battery charge. So, so is it 2.4 megahertz? I think so, yeah. Um, it's a wireless USB cable. 
So, um, and it'll be available. I'm not sure exactly when. Sometime this quarter, and it's going to be uh, about 400 bucks for the add-on. And you need to buy. You need to have a Cuneo or buy a Cuneo. So the total package is about 600 bucks. Um, but it's yeah, it's great. It's cool. We had it running all day, lasted the whole show, no problem. So yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you.